I'm Rachel, and I'm very scared of flying. Da -na -na, da -na -na -na. Every day this month, I am watching a classic horror movie. If I get scared, I'm looking away. Movie number 14, The Wicker Man, 1973. The movie opens with a text card to make it seem like a documentary. Police Sergeant Neil Howey's plane arrives at Summer Isle. Summer Isle is a remote Scottish island. They don't want to let him on shore. He tells him he received an anonymous complaint about a missing child, Rowan Morrison. They all agree they don't recognize the girl in the photo. Everyone in town watches him. He asks Mrs. Morrison about Rowan, and she says that the girl in the picture is not her daughter. Her other daughter says Rowan is a rabbit. Howie books a room at the local inn. The innkeeper's hot daughter, Willow, shows him his room. Howie is not here to have fun. He sees a lot of weird stuff. People are having sex outside. A woman is crying naked on a tombstone. Howie is a devout Christian. Willow sings a naked song to seduce Howie. It doesn't work. Lots of songs in this movie. The children play maypole and sing a sexual song. In school, the children all say the maypole is a phallic symbol. Howie is horrified. He sees Rowan's name on the class list. The teacher says on this island, people don't die. They are reincarnated. Howie finds Rowan's burial plot. It's creepy. Truly no one wants to help Howie. They are aggressively rude to him. There's a naked fertility dance. Howie meets their leader, Lord Summer Isle. He explains that his grandfather developed climate appropriate fruit trees and encouraged all the locals to worship their old pagan gods. Howie seems mostly just mad that they're not Christian. He finds a rabbit in Rowan's casket. He also learns that last year was a terrible harvest and Rowan had been the May Queen. He researches pagan rituals and determines that Rowan is alive but is going to be sacrificed. Then it's May Day. Howie tries to leave but someone tampered with his plane. The locals wear creepy animal masks. Rowan's mother tells him to stop interfering. He won't. Howie tears apart the town looking for Rowan. He attacks the innkeeper and steals his punch costume so he can sneak into the festivities. At the beach, they bring out Rowan for a human sacrifice. Howie grabs her. They run through a cave. It's a trap. Rowan was in on it. Lord Summer Isle explains that Howie is the perfect adult to sacrifice to their god. They prepare him while Howie shouts about Jesus. Lord Summer Isle mocks him and calls him a martyr. Howie has an appointment with the Wicker Man, a giant wooden statue. They lock him inside the statue with animals. Then they set the Wicker Man on fire. Howie prays. The Wicker Man collapses in flames. Overall, I gotta give this one two out of five stars. The Wicker Man himself plays a very small but vital role. I don't know. This movie is weird as hell. See you tomorrow for movie number 15. I know in the remake of Wicker Man, Nicolas Cage punches a woman, but Howie almost did that in this one.